right here, Mr. Jamal, aka the Rat Whisperer here at Herbert Exterminated. Uh, rats, that is the theme of the day. Hey, Mr. Jamal, what do you think about this uh, this new job? You know, Eric Adams, uh, you know, the new mayor, he had uh, listed uh, or mentioned this uh, job, the city job, the Rat Czar. That supposedly yeah. this person's going to, you know, they've had over a thousand applicants. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, what's the Hibbert's uh, history with Eric Adams? You know, he, he, he's been trying to fight these rats for a while, right? He has. He, I recall him as a, you know, a, the borough president right. here in Brooklyn. Yeah. He uh, had us out for a demo for some new innovative ways to try to add some sort of solution to the rat problem that's, you know, overtaking the city for that matter. Okay. Um, so it's good to hear now that he kind of stuck with his platform, his original platform, because I think he wanted to be like uh, heads first in that before he ran for mayor or oh, yeah. whatever the case may be. So now that they're going to open a rat czar position, sounds interesting. I, I hope some results can come from that. Awesome. So like the thing is, um, rats are, as you've always mentioned, the rats, the rodents, they're always like a response to another issue. And... Um, you had mentioned that, like, the rat issue is really tied to the sanitation issue. Absolutely. Uh, I don't think sophisticated traps or poison or some new solution or element that is going to be the thing here. Mm. Uh, you have to address the source. I mean, mm. we're a dirty city. We're an overpopulated city. We love our city. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm born and bred here. Mm. Um, and I understand how difficult it is to maintain. Even had an uncle who once was uh, worked sanitation in yeah. lower Manhattan and tell me all kinds of stories he'd come across and what have you. So uh, they are tasked with the thing already. However... Mm. As it bears responsibility with the city and the taxpayers, uh, it, it's, it should be simplified. It shouldn't be that, hey, the city needs to get rid of the rats or whatever. Everybody has a hand in this. And that starts with sanitation. Mm. Rats have, this is like, New York is known for its five-star restaurants and its food sure, scene sure, sure. amongst all the other uh, attributes of our great city. Right. Uh, however, it's also just as great if you're a rat, mm. I mean, hey, I, I can look out on my block here in Brooklyn and see that, uh, yeah, they've got a host of things to choose from and wow. eat and what have you. So if we can't get a handle on the sanitation first, mm. uh, there's not going to be any sort of new quick fix, new laws to enact. Um, we have to manage that first, and there are better and simpler ways to do it. Uh, I don't run a city. I'm not running for office. But I certainly have, uh, and we ex Hibbert Exterminating certainly know there's some ideas we could collaborate on. And uh, even with uh, some of my local blocks here, I've done that. Right. Uh, we do a few of the brownstone line blocks here, and the associations are willing to support our efforts so that they also don't have rats or we can cut into the population for that matter. Awesome. So homeowners who got rat problems, rats are outside the home, building owners who are in Brooklyn and they've got rat issues. Sanitation's an issue, but once they move beyond sanitation, they can definitely call Hibbert and they can work with you for a solution? Definitely, we're ready for that. We offer one by one the same answers that I'm giving to you. If indeed you can make your place less attractive for a rodent, that begins the process and you can do that from home. So, you know, having burrows or uh, holes or uh, not well-maintained trash. If your trash has to overflow, you shouldn't be, it shouldn't overflow, okay? You, you're just posing a problem, putting that problem, not only for your own property, but for your surrounding neighbors, as well as the sanitation department. If it can't fit in the can, you might have to wait till next week, or maybe even uh, have to buy another can. Even though I'm of the mind the city should provide the new rat proof cans uh there was a time you know i grew up in don't want to date myself a couple of decades ago when the city did provide metal cans for all the homeowners mm. and i don't know why we went away from that not saying get metal cans but uh we should be getting supplied cans 
that uh, they're easier to manage. They have wheels, uh, square, thick tops mm -hmm. uh, that the rats cannot penetrate. And if a uh, homeowner or landowner, business owner, landlord uh, can't manage that, then yeah, then we should be exacting fines or penalties to that end because it affects the entire environment. And as I always tell any of my singular clients, or even if I'm doing blocks for that matter, I let them all know, you guys have a bigger hand in this than anything that I can do. I don't create the poisons. I don't create the, the traps, as it were. I apply them, but none of those things are nearly as effective if we're not maintaining the very reason that they're on the grounds in the first place. Food, water, shelter, just like any mammals, what they're looking for. If we can find a way to eliminate those on each of our own properties, that goes a long way for everyone else. All right. Here you go. Pivot exterminating with Jamal, a.k.a. the Rat Whisperer. Thank you very much, Mr. Jamal. No problem, man. Come find us. Let us kill your rats. <laughs>